everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brie. And I'm Tori. And today we are here to react to S. Coop's new song, Me or None. So um, we are getting a slower start back into the week after our holiday, like Christmas, New Year's break. Um, so thank you, first of all, for being patient with us while we took a break that was very much needed. We are excited to come back into things, but we're going to do a little bit of a slower start since New Year's was the beginning of this week currently that we're yeah. recording. Um, we don't have as many videos coming out this week, so yes, we but figured we'd go ahead and do this song that came out while we were out, and then the next week we will be back on, I think we have four unit songs we're going to put out, so we look forward to next week because we do have four, should be music videos as well, yes. all units, and we're looking forward to that, but so. yeah. We are super looking forward to this song as well, especially because it like just dropped and we were like, well, I scoops just dropped a song and we know that everybody has been missing him so much while he's been healing. And I know we haven't done a lot. We've done some when we've done Dino solo. We haven't done a lot of solo, but not yet. he just dropped this and um, we're just new into our 17 journey, but we kind of missed him too. So I'm very excited to hear just him on a song, but we are very excited for next week's unit songs as well um and if you are new here or you did not know over on our patreon we're going to be starting the nana tour once that drops so is it on patreon yep the end of this week did it drop i think so, so we're super excited for that we're still looking into how we're gonna do that i don't know if it does end up being like closer to a two-hour episode that we will do two full hours on top of everything else so we may end up like splitting that up or something mm -hmm. it just depends on what it looks like when it comes out but we are super looking forward to it and we're super looking forward to watching it with you guys just I however we can get it done. So yeah. if you're curious about that or you're wanting to join us for that, um, come join us on Patreon if you're able to. And if not, we're going to go ahead and get into this song. Um, I don't know much about it. So if we're Tell missing me. any background to this, let us know yeah. because like she said, we're new to 17. So I know we're missing a lot of like insider, some a lot of personality, like past history stuff as well. So... We did get a gift over the break of um, Mingyu's signature oh, yeah. back there. See that so on, that's really posted, cool. Posted that on X, formerly known as Twitter. Whatever. So without uh, continuing to talk, let's go ahead and get into this. We went ahead and pulled up a lyric video. and so, 17 lyrics did not have one yet. So. Yeah. Um, so thank you to 17 Lover for having these out. And let's go ahead and get into it. I'm so excited. the percussion already. go back to that like drop drop out and then back in and then it, like cut out and then came back in i oh i feel like my heart is beating really fast i he like hit so hard not only with the emotions which i'll talk about the song at the end but like hit so hard with the emotion but his the tone of his voice like i'm just so this is our first real oh. other than like you said dino 
we haven't really done any solo stuff yet. So I know we got some snippets from the guide. So we're looking forward to like a lot of those songs to just hear them like in their own, like just, just them fully. And like the vibe of this song, the emotion and the, what he's saying, the message aside, like kind of gives me that, like, not, it gives me a nostalgic vibe because Mm -hmm. it does kind of remind me of what I used to listen to, Mm -hmm. like when I was in high school and stuff. Yeah. But like the way his voice, I absolutely love the color of his voice. Yes. And like, it's very emotionally charged, but like the rasp that he's using, but like you mentioned all the flips that he's doing too. Like it's just absolutely beautiful. We haven't heard enough of Um, him personally to to know exactly that he even would do something like this. So this is definitely like a pleasant surprise. The growl. And like you said, the growl, I said the rasp. I, I love it. Yeah. All right, let's go back into that. Oh, did you hear that? Hold on, I got like distracted just by the. Feel the emotion behind it. Ooh. The stop. Okay, he went, and then, he the, bre- yeah, he ended the word on a breath out, and then took a big gasp in. But the difference between the emotions in these two sections, this one sounded almost like a, a frustrated, like, mm, mm, and then yeah, he, he, and sounds, then it became a, <sighs> yeah. It, and that was a very cool creative choice that he did. I love that. I, oh. Hopeless. Hold on, hold on, ready? Gotta dance the tears away. You ready? No, no, not no, more. <laughs> Stop that. Put a little boogie in it. Put a little boogie in my tissue. Stop. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting to hit like that at the, the very end when he flipped the. Mmm. I wasn't supposed to cry. I didn't know I was gonna cry today at all. <sighs> absolutely beautiful I'm kind of speechless I am assuming this isn't anywhere where I can actually stream it other than on YouTube and that actually makes me upset because I would this is the kind of like this kind of sad song that I would actually get hooked on and replay I don't always like sad songs because they make me sad well, and I feel like yes it has a very heart wrenching message but at the same time it's just like it's something people it is. need to have to relate to just talking about me personally usually oh, i'm like a hype she, up she person. doesn't she can't do the but the, there always are those specific songs that i'm just like that's the one but, and i have to like replay it this would probably be one of those that i would replay this is definitely the type that would <sighs> oh my goodness i can't even Talk imagine about. go ahead i can't even imagine like having to go through that kind of struggle 
because you have your like on stage persona and your stage name versus the you that not everybody like like all of the the fans or the like the global like everyone that sees you on stage or sees you as an idol sees so I, I couldn't even imagine having those very two specific sides and then choosing like which one should I love more which one am I going to be today who am I when I walk I out really? that door yeah right. who am I because I don't know what my real identity is because there's more than like there's two of me basically well I think it's hard too because I think a lot of people well, even even if it's good intentions assume that they know who the person is all around yeah. like whether it's s coops or some child like everyone's like no that's the same person and he's he's struggling because like he knows the difference he knows things that obviously does not share with um <clears throat> the fans and stuff like that but there are some people who like will assume that they know everything about that person i can imagine i can't imagine how difficult that would be to because you don't want to be like, no, you don't know this about me, and then give it all away. And so it's just like this constant battle within yourself. And like you said, who walks out the door? Who are you today? Who am I even at all? But I think what I also really liked about this song, aside from the vulnerability and the honesty that he was giving us, which he did not have to do, yeah. but he very much was like, I, I want to write what I'm feeling and I want to share that with the world, which is incredible. What I think you can do with this song too is you can take it from that meaning and apply it to yourself in a lot of situations. Like I, I won't speak um, for Tori or anyone really, but like for myself having depression, you mask a lot of the days and you tell everybody that you're okay or whatever it may be. And so I've very much felt related. Like he was relating to me on like the days of like, I get confused sometimes on which one is real or which one is which one is this and who do I want to put on today or even who am I? And so that felt very relatable. The thoughts just eat away at you and it's yeah. not how you, your normal thinking pattern is not is kind of all screwed up. And so it was just a very beautifully written and worded way to kind of express that, I guess. And for so many people, so many of us who relate to having to like put on a different version of yourself no matter where you are. I mean, you always do. You mm -hmm. put on a different version of yourself with everyone, like in, yeah. in your situations. Like I'm a totally different person at work versus how I am with like family or how I am with like different from family with like friends or like this person with that person. That's just, I think that's just normal. Most people yeah. do that. But like to, I like I said, I can't imagine <clears> to like this, that kind of extreme because you always have to be on when you're an yeah. idol. And I mean, I'm not saying like everything he does isn't, is like, it's not fake or anything. It's just, he shows parts of himself that he wants to show. So that's not, every, like you said, like everything. And we're not saying we think they have to be on. It's just oh, no. the community or the culture that has been built around it. We'd love for them to be able to be like, you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not on today, but, um, this was beautifully written and then beautifully composed. The the part that made us the most emotional at the end when he flipped it around and said he's going to be love one, be one. Like it is all one, basically for you, for the fans, I mean, for carrots, for himself. hopefully himself. Yeah. Hopefully himself. So um, I will say the other one more thing. The one thing I felt like other than the message from this song was just the way that, like when we talked about in the middle, the way that he portrayed the emotions through the sound mm -hmm. that he put in here was just absolutely like, I'm still kind of blown away. Genius. Phenomenal. I absolutely mm -hmm. adore this song in a very emotional, like connecting kind of way. So if you listen to this whole tangent, thank you for <laughs> listening to us. <laughs> um, we really appreciate you. Give us, uh, give, I was going to say give us, but like because of the whole song, give S Coops and yourselves some hearts in the comments if you've made it this far um because we love you and thank you for listening to us we love you so much and we will see you in the next one bye bye